Okay everyone, welcome back to part two. Uh, in this part I'm going to show you how to construct a plane which uh, we will cut the cube with. First of all, we're going to draw a segment on the base plane which will define the radius of a sphere. You'll see why we need a sphere shortly. Then we make a point in space which will be the centre of our sphere. I'm just going to rotate around to make sure it's not too far away from the cube. Okay. Now with the sphere tool we want to choose this as the radius and this point as the centre. Notice that Cabri talks to you all the time. It gives you a little text box and you agree with what it's saying, if you want, by clicking. Now I'm going to change the surface style of this so I can see what's inside. Okay. Now, we're going to define a point on the sphere and join that point to the center of the sphere. This is going to give us the direction of our plane. Actually, it's what we call a normal vector. Okay, so we go up here to the plane tool, which you'll find um, here. And we're going to make a plane through this point ah, I got that wrong okay that's okay that happens to everyone and you know with every program if you've done something wrong control Z okay it's gone this is what I meant to say we're going to do a plane perpendicular to that vector so perpendicular to the segment through that point. There's our plane. We could actually pretty much stop there because if we drag that point it will drag the plane and we can see it cutting the cube. If you wish to change the direction of the plane change that vector. Let's look at it from the side. drag that point, translates the plane and dragging that segment changes the angle. Okay, Whichever way we want it will drag and change the angle. Again drag the centre of the sphere and we translate the plane, change this to change the angle. Okay, I think we'll tidy that up a little bit in part three.